in this lecture we will try to understand program of q using array in this particular program we will try to analyze delete operation hash define max space 4 what does it mean wherever this max appears that will be replaced by 4 void del means this is prototype declaration in future we will define a function whose return value is void which will not return any value function name is del through which we will not pass any parameters int q of max what is your max value is 4 this is single dimensional array data type array name size therefore an array internally an array will be created with size 4 int rare equal to minus 1 front equal to minus 1 front comma rare are two integer type variables which are initialized with minus 1 void main which indicates beginning of your c program int choice choice is integer type variable clear screen which will clear the output screen while one it is an infinite while loop one dot insert two dot delete three dot display four dot quit here we are interested in deleting the elements we already discussed insert function and display functions in our previous lecture in this lecture we will try to understand delete function therefore enter your choice after displaying this particular message let me say i entered number two that number two will get stored in the place of choice choice is two means switch to switch to means we will go to go to the case two in case two there is a function known as del whose definition can uh, is in next slide therefore this is a function before deleting let me assume let me take let me select pen first void del open floor bracket previous value of front in first slide we initialized front with minus one just see this one front is minus one now front equal to equal to minus one front equal to equal to minus one means what minus one equal to minus one true minus one equal to equal to minus one r means this is logical r if any one of them is true it's enough for us therefore we will enter inside if black q is under flow means there are no elements to delete return means where will you go again you will go back to where this particular case to after case to there is a break statement because of this we will come out of switch again since it's an infinite while loop again you will go back to while again options will be displayed again let me say i enter number two if i enter number two that number two will get stored in the place of choice switch choice switch choice means what switch to switch to means case to again this del it is a function call or calling function therefore you will go to the definition of this particular function which is available in our next slide let me move to the next slide now let me assume let me assume like this uh, how can i assume uh, yes let me assume there is there is a q let me draw it like this let me say there is a q this one is this is zero index this is first index this is second index this one is third index isn't it already in first slide we define like this hash define max space 4 and means wherever max appears that will be replaced by 4 into q of max means internally an array will be created with size 4 means q0 to q3 let me assume in this queue we have elements 10 20 30 40 in which front element is 20 rare element is 40 front equal to what front is index of front element what is index of front element 10 whose index is 0 this is 0 what is rare rare is index of rare element here rare element is 40 whose index is 3 therefore rare equal to 3 now let me assume let me assume there is a q which is already created like this now what happens if front equal to equal to minus 1 what is my front value 0 0 equal to equal to minus 1 it's not true front greater than rare front means what 0 0 greater than 3 false this condition is false this condition is also false this particular if black will be skipped now where will you go you will move to the else black printf element deleted from q is percentage d q of front 
वाट इज मई फ्रंट वैल्यू जीरो क्यू आफ जीरो वाट इज मै क्यू आफ जीरो टेन देर फोर ए मेसेज विल बी डिस्प्लेड एलिमेंट डिलीटेड फ्रॉम क्यू इज टेन लेट मी राइट डिलीटेड एलिमेंट सीयर दिस टेन इज डिलीटेड इज इंट इट नाउ फ्रंट इक्वल टू फ्रंट प्लस वन फ्रंट इक्वल टू फ्रंट प्लस वन मीन्स वाट प्रीवियस वैल्यू ऑफ फ्रंट इज जीरो फ्रंट इक्वल फ्रंट प्लस वन मीन्स प्रीवियस वैल्यू ऑफ फ्रंट इज जीरो जीरो प्लस वन फ्रंट वन देर फोर नाउ देर फ्रंट कैन आट बी जीरो नाउ नाउ अवर क्यू विल बी लाइक दिस हाउ विल इट बी only with uh, how many elements three elements what are they this is first index element why because zero index is removed our front one front one means you need not bother about front zero element isn't it this is one this is two let me say this is three isn't it now what is my front front equal to one your rear equal to three this is 20 30, 40. Now let me say again. Let me assume this function is called front equal to equal to minus one. What is my front one? One equal to equal to minus one. False. Front greater than rear. What is my front one? Greater than rear. One greater than three. False. Both of them are false. If both of them are false, you will not enter inside the block. Now you will out of this block. You will go to the else block. Element deleted from Q is percent LD, comma Q of front. Front means what? Front means one. Q of front means what? Q of one. Q of one means twenty. Therefore, element deleted from Q is twenty. This element is also deleted. After deleting, this front is updated. How will it be updated? Front equal to front plus one. Front equal to front plus one. Front means one. One plus one. Front equal to two. Front equal to two means this element will not be there. Therefore, you will left with only two elements. What are they? Thirty and forty. Thirty index is two. Your forty index is three, isn't it? Now, let me assume what is this front value here? Front is two. Front equal to front equal to two. What is my rear value? Rear equal to three. Now, let me assume again this function is called. If front equal to equal to minus one, what is my front two? Two equal to equal to minus one. It's it's not true. Our front greater than rear. Two greater than three. False. Both of them are false. We will go to the else. Element deleted from Q is percent LD. Q of front. What is my front? Two. Q of two. Q of two means thirty. Element deleted from Q is thirty. After this means this element is deleted. Means thirty is deleted. Thirty is removed. Now front is updated. Front equal to front plus one. Previous value of front is. Two front equal front plus one means front equal to three. Now where can I go? How will it be? You were Q. You will left with only one element that is forty, whose index is three, isn't it? Now what is front? Front equal to three. Front equal to three. Rear equal to three, isn't it? Front three, rear three. Again, let me say this function is called. If front equal to equal to minus one. What is my front three? Three equal to equal to minus one. Not true. Front greater than rear. Front greater than three greater than three. False. Again, you, where will you go? This particular block will be skipped. Now, where will I go? Else block. Element deleted from Q is Q of front. Front means what? Three. Q of front means Q of three. What is Q of three? Element deleted from Q is forty. This forty. This will be deleted. Front equal to front plus one. Previous value of front is three. Now front equal front plus one means front equal to front plus one three plus one four. Your front is four, rear is three, isn't it? Anyway, that last element forty is also deleted. Now if you want to delete again, let me say this function is called front equal to equal to minus one. Four cannot be minus one. Front greater than rear, yes, it's correct. Front greater than rear, four greater than three, it's it's true. Therefore, you will enter inside a block. A message will be displayed. Q underflow means if you are interested in removing or deleting elements, but elements are not present, that situation is known as Q underflow situation. Return means what happens? You will go back. Where will you go back? Here after del, there is a break statement. This break break statement will get executed. Break means you will come out of that switch again. You will go back to the while as it is infinite while loop. Again it will get executed. If I enter number four, number four means Choice four, switch four, switch uh, choice value, choice value four, switch four, case four, case four means exit one. 
with this particular function we will come out of the program thank you very much